Well, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back. I hope you guys are all having a beautiful day today, and I hope you don't mind. We're going to be looking at my hands for the next 15 to 20-ish minutes as we go through and do my first ever declutter. Now, this video I am very excited about because I obviously have never done one of these. I know that you've never seen one on my channel, and truthfully, in real life, I'm very bad about editing my makeup stash in general because I draw, like, these severe emotional connections <laughs> to literally every single thing. Even if I don't like it, I still want to keep it forever and ever and always. For today's video, we're going to be focusing on just my blushes, which I have roughly, I want to say maybe 15 to 20 of them. And for the purposes of this, I'm going to kind of go through, talk about each one of them a little bit, tell you why I'm decluttering it, the formula, and just kind of get into it. You know, if there's any information that might help you make a, a better purchasing decision down the line, I would like to be able to share that with you as well. All that sounds good to you and you're ready to get into this declutter, I want you to give me just one second more of your time so I can mention just a couple of brief things. Number one, if you haven't subscribed yet, I would greatly appreciate it if you would do that before you leave. I put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I usually go up around 7, 7.30 a.m.-ish my time here in the good old northern Michigan, the northern MI. And of course, the most important thing of all, you guys, I am still trying to get to 10,000 followers over on Instagram, so if you wouldn't mind, take a brief second, go down to Instagram, just right down there, okay, right down in the description box, just poop, 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 right down there, and uh, follow me on Instagram. You can do Instagram and Twitter, but Instagram is where I'm at more often. It's what I'm desperately trying to grow. Um, again, trying to get to 10,000 followers so I can get the swipe up feature, so go down there, check me out on Instagram. Two things I want to mention just as like a side note for this video. Obviously, you'll be looking at my hands the whole time, and these rings right here, here, and here, those are all newer to my collection, and I'll make sure that they are all linked down below. Those are from Melinda Maria, and they're just super adorable. I actually got all of these on sale, but um, I really like them. I love the design, and I'll like I said, I'll make sure that they are linked as well as just the site if you want to shop it in general. It is so adorable. Anyways, with all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the first item up here, and this is the Revolution Pro 4K blush palette and I have this in the peach version and the reason I'm getting rid of it I think you know you can see on camera it's very nice it's very vibrant in color and my only issue with this is more so in terms of the pigmentation because when you swatch them and you feel them they actually do have a very nice creamy consistency and I don't have so much of an issue with that necessarily but ultimately for me what ends up happening with this palette is it's kind of a perfect storm because they are nice and creamy which is wonderful and they are super rich in pigmentation but when I I go to blend them out, the creaminess is almost a little bit too heavy on my skin, and so it settles, and then I can't actually, like, blend it out, and you can see, like, right here, I tried to kind of buff that shade out, and it just ends up leaving you with kind of this line where, again, the, the pigmentation and the actual formula is just a little bit too heavy, and then combining that formula along with the fact that these colors themselves aren't necessarily my favorite. Like, I think they're pretty, don't get me wrong, and, and they're a little bit better when you mix them, but ultimately, for me, this just isn't something that I reach for, and I just, yeah, like, I, I don't I don't need it in my collection, and I feel like there are other people that I know that will get way more use out of this than I will. Now, next up, I'm getting rid of this Butter Blush. This is from Physicians Formula, and I'm getting rid of this in the shade Natural Glow, and mainly just because it is a very, very light shade. It doesn't really show up on my skin tone all too well, and I did go ahead and swatch it right here. You can see it looks more like a highlight than anything, but the problem I end up having, because I did actually try to use this as a highlight as well, and for some reason, it doesn't really show up on on camera, but it has this like undertone to it that just really kind of fights my skin tone and it doesn't work whether I'm trying to use it as a blush or even a blush topper as a highlight. There's just really no realm in which I can get this to look good on my skin tone, which by the way, if I didn't mention it, whether it's this product or any other product in this video, I want you guys to know um, everything is going to a good home. I don't believe in just throwing makeup away. I made sure that, you know, prior to my declutter and prior to this whole thing that everything that I'm getting rid of has somewhere to go. It has someone that will like it, will love it, appreciate it, and at the very least, you know, get to try it, get to test the formula, uh, because I, I really don't believe in just throwing makeup away, especially, you know, if it can be repurposed. I know some things can't, they're bad, you know, maybe they were like a lipstick, that kind of thing can get a little iffy, but when it comes to stuff like this, you know, blushes and bronzers and eyeshadows, that kind of thing, um, I did make sure that prior to me even going through it, that I had people that would, you know, take a look at it, see if they wanted it, go through it, and repurpose it, because I don't want to throw anything away, um, you know, as long as, like I said, as long as it's not bad. I just want you guys to know going into this, I'm not just throwing it in the garbage. It's going to good home. So just so everybody knows, it's got a good place to go. Okay. 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 
All right, now next up we have a Milani little baked blush. Look at the color, it's so beautiful in pan. I love that luminosity. I actually did a finger swatch right here too. It's super beautiful. Um, this is in the shade number one, Dolce Pink. And the only reason I'm decluttering this one, again, it's not an issue with like consistency or anything like that. I really, really like it. And I actually kept the other shade, which is Luminoso. That's like the one that's the most like widely known of this collection. Um, and I kept that because I do use it more. But this shade, for some reason, whenever I go to apply it, for some reason it comes off on my cheeks, just being a little bit too like red toned pink instead of a pinky pink. And on here, I mean, you can kind of see it when I tilt the light just right, but it just more so casts a little bit like red on my skin tone and it doesn't complement with like my natural redness and hyperpigmentation. So I figured better to, again, pass this one off to somebody that doesn't have so much redness on their cheeks. But uh, the formula itself, you can see it's beautiful. It is a very, very luminous formula. So if you're not into that, you won't like it. But again, formula good, just the color on me, not so much. All right, now next up, just like the first palette, this is also from Makeup Revolution. This is their matte blush in the shade New Rules. And it is a very, very vibrant pink. I wanna say that I got this like free gift with purchase maybe from their website. And just for me overall, this blush just, it doesn't work. It's not worth keeping around. It just got like, look at even my finger right there. Like it, it, for some reason, there's something about this blush that it just, it clings and it really, it almost stains and sticks more so than it like blends out. And it always ends up causing me more problems than not. So I just, I have to declutter it. I, I don't know if it's me, the formula. You guys can comment down below and tell me if it's just me, but there's something about that Makeup Revolution blush, like there, that, that specific formula, because I've tried other formulas that didn't do that, but there's something about those ones right there that just, whoo, they cause me nothing but problems. All right, so this one's pretty quick, simple, and to the point. These are those elf, jelly pop, blushy, wiggly, <laughs> jelly type situations. And uh, these are, yeah, I'm sorry, the flush blush, that's what they're called. And I have it in both shades. There is peach pop, which is obviously a little bit of a lighter tone. And then there is this one, which is berry pop. And I tried, oh, look at that. Consistency. Oh my God, look at that. Oh God. Um, but I did try both of these in a video back when the collection first came out. And the problem that I have, I mean, look at them. They have a beautiful payout. They're very, very creamy. My issue isn't so much with the consistency when you're playing around with it and feeling it, but more so how that consistency reacts to my skin and my foundation. It's just, for some reason, again, on me, it's just very settling and it does not distribute well on my cheeks at all. So all of this like beautiful slip that you're seeing right here, this nice blend out, for some reason, I go to a apply that to my skin and it just like it soaks in like like water to flower and it just doesn't blend it looks absolutely atrocious and you know what if I get this in the right light you can kind of see it on camera right here how it, it just has more of like a patchy consistency to it and what ends up happening is it does that same thing but it gets very patchy and inconsistent on my actual skin like as it kind of soaks and settles into my foundation and it's just super duper unflattering I mean even though like like I said in swatch it looks really pretty it has this beautiful glow to it but for some reason on my skin, it just, it's again, settles in very patchy, very inconsistent. And truthfully, I hate trying to blend it out. And don't get me wrong, like it's fun to play in, okay? Like blah, 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 blah. Okay, I could do that all day long. But uh, at the end of the day, is this something that I would want as a blush? Like, no, okay, it's it's not. I wish that it looked like that either on the eyes or somewhere else on the face because it swatches beautiful, but on the skin, it is a hot damn mess. No, thank you. Okay, you guys, so next up, I did already go ahead and swatch this, which also, <laughs> there's my tan line making its um, grand appearance. Look at how freaking pasty. <laughs> my damn wrist is like, hello? Teresa thinks she's uncooked chicken, bitch. I, I could give you a run for your money. I'm not uncooked chicken, bitch. I'm like still alive running around with feathers on. I'm so uncooked. Holy hell, that's a tan line and a half. But anyways, beautiful tan lines aside, just looking oh so sexy. Um, Let's get into this next blush. Now, this is from NYX. This is their Sweet Cheeks Matte Blush in the shade Daydream. And I actually really, really love this. The consistency of it is beautiful. It's one of my favorite blushes, truthfully, from the drugstore, um, especially in this shade. I did go ahead and swatch it right here. And what I I love about this blush. I mean, truly, I love everything. It has a beautiful um, lightness. It has a nice finish. It's very consistent, very, very smooth. It applies perfectly. The only reason I'm getting rid of this, because obviously that's everyone's question, you know, if you love it and you like the formula and you love all the things, even the color, because it's beautiful, like why on earth would you get rid of it? And truthfully, it's because I accidentally bought two of these when I was on the NYX website. And so I don't want to hog both. If I have an extra one, I would rather, like I said, give it to a friend that I know would really enjoy the color. She has a very similar aesthetic 
to me when it comes to blush, so I know that she will really enjoy this. Um, again, consistency and everything is on point, so th this one is more so like a rehoming, not so much just to declutter, because she is amazing. All right, now onto the blush that needs no introduction. We officially have the NARS Orgasm entering the race, and this one I am only getting rid of because I have another one of it. I actually ended up, I think, I want to say it came from like a NARS set or a NARS collection or something like that on their website, and so I do have this same shade already over in the bin. I just figured I would declutter this one, to be perfectly honest, because it's very, very old and outdated, and I'm starting to be able to tell just with the consistency that it is getting a little bit um, harder, like a little bit too, um, a little bit too dense. So this declutter is more so just because, you know, I think it's getting a little bit outdated, and um, yeah, it's it's not so much that I don't love you, I will always treasure our memories together, but uh, truthfully, girl, you're, you're getting a little bit up there, and I just, I, I worry that you're kind of, kind of big time expired, so it's time to, it's time to put you, put you over here. So next up, we have the first and only loose blush of the evening. This is the Studio Makeup Luminous Loose Blush, and I'm only getting rid of this because, well, there, there's two reasons. Number one, um, I'm not a big fan of loose blushes like this in general. They just, I don't ever reach for that type of application, and I think that reason number one kind of piggybacks on to reason number two, which is that even though the consistency of this is very smooth, I like the color, there's a little swatch of it, um, it, it again, it seems very smooth in application when you're swatching it. When I go to apply this, it does kind of cling to my texture, my pores, and it never really settles onto my skin and really presses in the same way that a pressed blush does. And I could never really get it to last throughout the day, no matter how much I sealed it in with setting sprays and really just tried to press it in. I just could, I could never get that, that longevity out of it. So, so for me, you know, again, it's really nice. The consistency is beautiful. And maybe if you don't have like a ton of texture and that sort of thing, it might work for you. But for me, it just, it, it's not, it's just not something that I reach for. All right. So up next here, we have the Wander Beauty Wondrous Dusk to Dawn Blush and Highlight Palette. And these are the shades as they sit in the pan. And then here they are in swatch. You can see right over here, um, this is the highlight shade. And then these are the two blushes. And for me, these two blushes are just not really tones that I reach for. Plus the shimmer in them is more aggressive than I would typically reach for. And the highlight itself is also a very rich, like deeper gold tone. And so even though I like it and it has a beautiful pigmentation and a nice shine, it just doesn't work on my skin tone. But I do have someone who is a few shades deeper than myself who I think will really enjoy the highlight. And I'm pretty sure that uh, these as well, like just on kind of a natural day based on how she wears her makeup, I really feel like she will get a fair amount of use out of this palette. So again, even though it didn't work for me, I'm really glad to be passing it on because the, the consistency of it is very, very nice. It just, uh, the tones didn't really work for me so much. So next up we have the Catrice and Iman blush collection. These are the four shades as they sit in pan. And then here they are swatched on my hand. And out of this palette, I will say the quality and the consistency is definitely there. You guys know I'm a huge, huge fan of Catrice. And I feel like the, the actual pigmentation and the feel of these shades is very beautiful. In terms of even like working the shades and being able to blend them, they do move beautifully. But the reason that I'm getting rid of this palette, to be perfectly honest, is just because out of all four shades, I really only reach for this first shade because it's lighter, it's a little bit more demure, a little bit more my speed. Really, I guess the end all of this one is just I want all of the shades to get used because I think the consistency and the quality is definitely there. And it's a shame for them to just be held up in my in my little closet here for just one shade just because I'm such a basic bitch that I don't use <laughs> more than that one color. So definitely um, decluttering that, going to someone that I know will enjoy it and get way more use out of it. So next up, this one is not just a blush palette. This is from It Cosmetics and this is their Je ne sais quoi palette. And the packaging on this is super beautiful. As you can tell, it's not just a blush palette. It has one blush, kind of an under eye situation, a bronzer, and then a highlight. But for me, the reason that I'm getting rid of this is just because I don't reach for it anymore. And when I first got it, I really did enjoy it. Let me go ahead and kind of move it in. Like you can see, I got a ton of use out of the bronzer, the blush, and just the whole palette itself really was loved and used. But since they've come out with this and, and you know, this formula specifically, bronzers and blushes and just things like this have come such a long way. And I find that I have way more items in my collection that I would rather reach for, that I enjoy more, that blend out a little bit better. And ultimately, I just, like I said, I don't reach for this one anymore. And it's not that it's bad. Again, the consistency and everything is fine. The palette itself is still fine. But I just, I don't need to keep it in my collection, cluttering things up if I would rather reach for other items. So even though I have loved it and I've been able to enjoy it, it's time to pass it to somebody else that hopefully can enjoy it as well. So next up, I've got two blushes from Wet n Wild. They are both swatched right there on my hand. The hot pink is obviously this one right here. This is their Color Icon Baked Blush in the shade Dare to Soar. And truthfully, it's just a bright, bright ass pink that I will not wear on my cheek. 
don't get me wrong, as an eyeshadow, it's absolutely beautiful. Like, I've worn it up there several times. I've even put it along, like, my upper lash line and made kind of a wing out of it. And it was a really nice way to repurpose it. But ultimately, is it worth me keeping around just for those, you know, onesie, twosie type instances? I mean, honestly, for me, no. So I'm decluttering this, and it's going to someone that I know is going to really enjoy it. And truthfully, someone that is a lot more bold with their blush um, than I am. All right, and then the other one I have from Wet n Wild, obviously, I got this on clearance from Meyer for $1.39. And this is in the shade Rosé Champagne. Just like with the one from Physicians Formula right here, I'm getting rid of this um, just because it is so light on my skin tone, but it's also too weird for me to use as a highlight. Just as a fun little fact before I declutter this, um, it kind of has a special place in my heart. And the reason that I've never gotten rid of it up until this point was because I actually purchased this way back when I was first getting my channel started. And actually, now that I think of it, I might have actually got this before my channel. But I was going through the store anyways, and I picked this up because I was trying to learn about blushes and the consistency and the differences between like shimmer versus matte and just trying to learn all of the drugstore formulas because back when I was getting started, you know, drugstore and the up and coming quality and all of that was very, very big on YouTube. And so I wanted to learn about it. And when I saw this one on clearance, I picked it up just so I could learn the texture of the Wet n Wild blushes. And I never got rid of it because it just always was kind of a sweet memory of where everything started and just, you know, that, that whole journey. Obviously, like you're seeing, I'm decluttering it now. You know, I'm not going to hold on to it forever or anything, but uh, I don't know. I just thought it was sweet to kind of see where things started and just see how, how far they've come, and I don't know. It just, it made me smile, so I wanted to share that. Okay, so next up, we have two blush bomb palettes from Carity. I have the Boom Berry and Coral Kaboom, and these are two out of the four palettes. I actually kept the other two in my drawer over there because the tones of those I could still reach for, and the shades of these ones, uh, truthfully, are just shades that I don't ever really, you know, reach for or would think of reaching for. The, uh, the Coral Kaboom turned out to be way more orange on my skin tone and doesn't have like that really good corally pink undertone. And so obviously I don't reach for that one. This one up here, I think it's pretty obvious, but it's just way too fuchsia for my basic bitch ass, okay? I don't I don't ever reach for anything that vibrant. And so I wanted to, you know, just like with the one from Wet n Wild, I wanted to declutter these, especially this Boomberry. I wanted to declutter them to someone that I know likes to be a little bit more bold with their blush and really likes to kind of go there. But honestly, even though I don't like the colors, I've always really enjoyed the aesthetic of these. Like, don't they look pretty? Packaging presentation-wise, I think they're very sleek, very sophisticated. They have kind of like a like a high-end vibe going on there, and I really like it. Like the the overall look of them, I think is really cool. I just I wish I just wish I could use the blushes more. Okay, so moving on here, we have an e.l.f. blush, and this is their matte primer-infused blush in the shade Always Cheeky. And here is a little swatch of it. You can see it's just a very very pale pink. The only reason I'm getting rid of this is the shade because I do have several other blushes in this line from e.l.f. and I really, really enjoy them. The consistency, the pigmentation, blend, like everything for these blushes so far for me has been on point, but there's something about this color that just doesn't work for me, my skin tone. So it's definitely a bummer that I couldn't make this shade work because truthfully, I mean, price point, the consistency, quality of it's on point. They last really well on the skin, but like this color, okay, I'm just, I'm just not about what this color does to my face. It is not good. All right, and then last but not least from Juvia's Place here, I have their blush in the shade Bella, and the tone itself is really, really beautiful. Beautiful. But when they launched these, I ran to their website. I purchased every single shade that they launched. And for some reason, that seemed like a good idea to buy like a like a deeper, more brick-toned red. And it's definitely not something that is suited for me. So I, I just really don't want this one to go to waste because the consistency is there. The color is beautiful. Um, it's just, it's not something that works for me. So I just, I don't want it to go to waste. And honestly, even the packaging is beautiful. Like it's so vibrant and so fun. I just, ugh. I love it so much. Juvia's Place, they kill it with packaging. It's gorgeous. But all right, you guys, that is it. That's the end of my first ever declutter. I hope that you liked it. Please feel free to give me all of your thoughts down below, whether it is on the blushes, if, you know, the video style, do you like declutters? Do you want to see some more of them? Um, do you think that this setup kind of works? I mean, per personally, I'm actually not too upset about it. I like it. I feel like, you know, you can see everything pretty good. But anyways, I want to hear from you guys down below. Give me all of your thoughts and opinions. Like I said at the beginning, don't forget to subscribe before you leave, turn on your post notifications, and check me out on Instagram and on Twitter. Everything will be linked down below. And guys, I think that that is everything. Thank you all so, so much for watching. Please don't forget to have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Could that be any more awkward? Also, look at my little stained fingers <laughs> from watching so many blushes. Do, 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 do. Okay, Paige, stop it. <laughs> stop it right now. Little bunny foot. No, Paige, it's not. You don't do it with your actual fingers. It's supposed to be a shadow. <laughs> I need to make a shadow. Little bunny foo foo hopping through the forest. No, 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 boom. Boom, boom. I don't know how that goes. I just know that this, wait, no, this is a bunny. Which one's a bunny? This one?
Let the money... Oh, page, page, stop it right now. Just stop it.